find them here. So nice to meet you. I am a huge fan of you and your work, and I can't thank you enough for speaking with me today, especially thank about you. this project. Thank you. Of course. And so there is nothing like getting fully sucked into a love story, and that is exactly what this film is. It sucks you in and really just makes you invest in these characters. So I'm curious for you, what elements or themes made the story special, either before you signed on or while you were filming it? I would say early on when I read the book that the movie is based on, um, it was exactly what you said. There was something you you so quickly get to know these guys and watch them fall in love and it's really fun. And then it's you really feel the full ebbs and flows of the relationship and obviously specifically the the terminal cancer diagnosis that comes and the journey they go on together. Um, it just felt so full and it was so powerful. To, I saw my eyes out reading that, that that book the first time. And 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 I guess that was it. I mean, I just feel like, you know, if if you're an actor, uh, I think that's you that's kind of what you've are, at least for me, that's what I've always wanted to do. Those is to be a part of telling stories that that hopefully make other people feel as powerfully and 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 have that opportunity to show that aspect of humanity, as it were. I kind of want to go off what you just said, because when I found out I was interviewing you, my entire family freaked out because we are all such fans and watch you. My grandfather, who never says anything, is like, tell him I said hi and that I love um, him. But <laughs> my way of saying that your work does affect people. So does it ever shock you when you have someone come up to you and say, your work in X, Y, and Z impacted me in this way. I know this is going to be a project that you're probably going to get a lot of that with. Yeah. Um, yeah, I would say it does shock me in in different ways at different times. And it's something that yeah, I think it's I think it's a combination of that, you know, I get it because I have been affected by things that I've watched and and people's performances and things like that. But it's 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 always I don't know that I'll ever get to a place where I fully can comprehend that I have had the blessed opportunity to do that for other people. You know, it, it just it seems like something uh, some uh, it's, that seems like something that I would feel and I would be able to express. But the idea that uh, that I can be reciprocal in that way is um it's an honor. But uh, uh, again, I'm not sure I'll ever fully, fully comprehend it. So, yeah, it is surprising. As you mentioned, this is obviously based on a book, and I'm curious for you, did that change your approach at all? This is such a, a moving, beautiful story and, and very heavy. Did that change your approach? Did you approach it like any other project? I would say that I, in a, in a grand way of looking at it, I did approach it just like any other project. And partly that is to say that every project is a little bit different. So I don't kind of don't have necessarily anything laid out about an approach. It's just, I just start working on it. Um, the, what was new and and powerful for this for me was that knowing that it was a true story and having the source material is something to reference and to be able to read passages while we were shooting the film and bring back the way it made me feel the first time I read it and really remember that. Um, that was an excellent tool to have. And, you know, Michael Osiello, who wrote the book, he was on set with us every single day. And sometimes there were little things that one could ask. I know Ben and he talked a lot because, you know, Kit's no longer with us. And Ben had questions about Kit and about going through the cancer journey. But even bigger than any of that, I think, was just, just having him there and just seeing him around. Even though consciously you never forgot, there was something powerful about regrounding it in that reality and remembering there was no need to invent anything. It was just, it was there, it, it happened. And these were real people. Um, and that was, that made life and the job both easier and more gratifying. I have to talk about the representation aspect. I mean, to get this sort of love story is so crucial and important and it makes it so much more beautiful that it's a real one. But can you talk a little bit about the importance of that and what you hope audiences get from Michael and Kit's relationship? Yeah, well, first I would start selfishly with my own take on it, which is that, and it's not something I really think I realized until we were well into working on it, how much I had craved to participate in a, a full look at a relationship like this 
in, in, in a way that I had seen growing up all my life, but normally in a straight couple. Yeah. And, um, you know, and, and the thing that was interest is interesting to me about looking back at that is that them being a straight couple didn't make it, I don't think, less effective. They still moved me. I still connected to them. What I love about that is that I feel the same is true here. I don't think that this being a gay couple um, uh, cuts anybody off from being equally affected by their story or, or cuts anybody off from have understanding the humanity and what they learn from this and what maybe they can take from it, which whatever that is, be it to tell people you love them before it's too late or um, learn how to risk having your heart broken to live your fullest life and to love both yourself and others as fully as possible. Um, so yeah, I, 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 but it was, it was, I can't say accidental, but subconscious at best. It was something that I realized along the way. I was just taken in by the story and the situation without as much thought on the any societal aspect of it in that way, which maybe sounds naive, but that wasn't the big draw. The big draw was just like, I can't wait to participate in these conversations, you know, and in these situations with another actor. The tagline from the film that's on the poster, love never stops surprising you, even when you know how it ends. I think it's so worded perfectly. And I wanted to ask you a question based on that. Obviously you knew how the story was going to end, yeah. but what was filming those scenes like, you know, especially after the journey you went on with, you know, your castmates, your crew, everyone involved? It was intense it felt oh it's hard to know what word to use here it felt i'm worried this will sound weird in print but i'm going to say it anyway it felt a little bit sacred because it had really happened and because michael osiello had retold what had gone on so descriptively and and eloquently in the book so it was very evocative you one felt that they really you could really tell what had gone on there at a at a human and spiritual level and so it did those the 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 toughest scenes as it were the the more are the you know the ones towards the end um it felt like sort of sacred ground we were going into that being said they required a full muscularity, as it were. They, it, they are, they are the lifeblood, as it were, not just of this story, but of the very essence of our lives. To, to have that level of intimacy with another human being, just soul to soul, like that, is um, hopefully something everyone gets to experience. And I don't, I don't mean the tragedy necessarily, but like in this case, it was a tragic situation that brought them to a place where what a gift to have a, a moment in time where it's as close to one naked soul to another naked soul as I think you get. And, um, and so it felt in that way, getting to participate in these scenes felt like a real privilege. Um, yeah. So beautiful. Thank you so much for your time again. This performance, you really moved me. I know it's going to move so many others. Thank it you. was a real pleasure. Oh, thank you so much. Professional artists and professors. Maybe a nerd who's just like you. Talking about the things that you like too. So I invite you to the NOC. In full color, you see me. The hard not crying. Comics, movies, and TV. Yeah. Pop culture with a different perspective. Watch it on your screen. Hit play, so check this.